Hey guys, this is David Wall with Target Sales. Uh, a friend of mine who I've been running around with uh, for most of last week asked me to put this video together. We were demonstrating this uh, technique and these uh, vacuum pumps from Navac uh, to a bunch of his contractors. And uh, he asked me to put this together so he could share that with more people uh, a little bit more readily, more effectively. So um, just wanna share this with you. Uh, what we've done is we put together what I call a five ton simulation. Essentially, we've got 200 foot of 7 8 pipe capped on one end with an access valve on the other. Uh, let you guys do the math at home, but essentially this is supposed to represent uh, the same amount of volume or probably a little bit larger than a typical 5 ton residential uh, split system application, assuming a 50 foot or less line set. What we're focusing on today is good techniques, but also uh, the uh, effectiveness of our break free series vacuum pumps from Navac. We have the 2 CFM, which I tested a couple minutes ago, and then the 4 CFM, both uh, cordless. Uh, we're also showing the half inch hoses and the fact that removing the valve core uh, uh, is going to speed up your vacuum uh, an immense amount and it's definitely save you money over the course of the year. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. I've Bluetooth uh, this to my pad so you guys can see it and we can record it. Restart that. Uh, we Bluetoothed our uh, Blue Fat vacuum sensor, and uh, this will allow us to save this and share it with people. All I've done to prep this is run a, a quick nitrogen sweep, only about 300 psi, uh, not a full you know pressure test. Just basically uh, wanted to dry it out uh, after I opened it up and exposed it to moisture and, and to the air. By pulling the valve core out, we've allowed basically the pump to live up to its full potential. If you don't remove the valve uh, core, you're limiting yourself to about 0.2 CFM. Uh, it doesn't matter how big your pump is. Uh, same thing, if you use a, a small charging cord, or charging hose rather, to pull your vacuum, you've limited to yourself, yourself to about 0.7 CFM um, of performance. So by alleviating those two things, using a half inch line, pulling the valve core out, uh, typically I can do this in about four and a half to five minutes. Now you notice we just hit 20,000 microns, so I'm gonna open this gas valve. And what that allows is to save my oil between 20,000 and uh, 2,000 microns. It basically allows a bypass, a small uh, amount of moisture there is, I guess more, uh, <laughs> The moisture coming in through the pump is more attractive to that than it is the oil, at least between 20,000 and 2,000 microns, and it allows it to grab that before it uh, contaminates the oil. One thing of note, I did uh, clean my oil, uh, or basically replace my oil before we started this. Uh, my rule of thumb is that before I do a job, before I uh, uh, pull a vacuum, I hook my micron gauge directly to my pump. And uh, if I don't hit 500 microns or less in about three seconds, I go ahead and change that oil. It's just too saturated to do a, a quick job. And we go right up 2,000 now, so go ahead and close this gas valve. See right over here, our timer's just over two minutes. We're already down to 1,700 CFM. I'm sorry, 1,700 microns. Go ahead and set this back up here. Again, I did run this test with a 2 CFM a couple minutes before I did this. I do have that graph recorded. Uh, if anybody wants it, just contact me at david at targetsales.com. Uh, for more training and information, visit us at targetsales.com or find us on Facebook. We do in-person training uh, as well as uh, webinar training. Basically at your convenience and whatever meets your schedule here in the state of Florida. Going back to this uh, simulation, uh, this is closer to... Um, as far as the application, a, a duckless or mini split because we're not pulling through a TXV. If you're doing this in the field on a traditional split system, if you've got an air handler with a TXV in it, you want to pull from both high and low side. So that means two hoses and two valve core removal tools. Um, obviously that starts to get expensive, but let's say even if you spend a thousand bucks on your whole setup, that's the pump, two hoses, two valve core removal tools, and a micron gauge, you spend a thousand dollars. Think about what it costs you in the field, uh, you know, between truck, labor, insurance, uniform, everything. 
typically between $100 to $200 it costs to have a technician in the field, whether it's your own business or you're working for a larger company. This thing will pay for itself in about 10 service calls, worst case. Uh, so after that, it's all gravy. Uh, you guys can do some math at home. I do have some white paper on that. If you guys would uh, like to check that out from a, from a financial standpoint. But essentially doing these quick vacuums, five minutes or less on residential systems, it allows you as a service tech to get back on the road, get back to the next job, um, just more efficient and allows you to, to service your customers better. So we're coming down to the 500s here, about four minutes in. Again, this is the Break Free series from NAVAC, four CFM, five ton simulation, trying to hit 500 microns in about five minutes. And there it is, five minute mark, and we are at 500 microns. That's it, pretty easy. Half inch hose, valve core out, clean oil. That's a 4CFM pump doing that, guys, and that's battery-powered.